Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 React tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about props in functional component. So let's see how can we use props in functional component. Uh, go to the project and inside the pages directory. So just go inside the resources, JS, pages. And inside the pages directory, let's create a new functional component. So right click, new file and uh, let's say file name is a product component dot jsx okay now here let's create a functional component so right here uh, first of all import the react so uh, import react from react okay now export default and function and function name product component okay and inside this function, uh, just pass here the props as an argument. Okay, so right here, props. Okay, now create a variable here, const. And inside the curly bracket, just write here the name product. And uh, getting the product from props, just write here, equal to props. Okay, now in return, Uh, parenthesis inside the return just add here the empty tag and then inside the h1 tag just write here product details okay now inside the pages uh, folder let's create one more component so create here new file and this time all products okay all products product component dot jsx okay now here uh, import react import react and then Uh, just import this product component inside this all product component. So right here import product component from product component. Okay, and now export default function and function name all product all product component. Okay, and inside this. Uh, first of all, let's create a product const product object. Okay, inside this curly bracket, uh, just set here the product name and uh, let's say first product and their price price two hundred and the stock status so right here is stock in stock okay now in return add here the empty tag and inside this empty tag let's call this one product component so render this product component so right here product component and uh, just pass here product is equal to this one this product okay now close this and save this file now uh, let's display this product inside this product component so uh, getting the product through the props and inside this return let's display here the product name so just write here inside the p tag name and uh, add your curly bracket then product dot name and for displaying the price let's copy and paste here change here the text price product dot price and here 
the stock status so right here is stock and here is stock so just right here is stock price p capital okay now save this file all right now let's create the route for this all product components so just go inside the resources directory uh, sorry routes directory and then open web.php file and inside this file uh, let's create here a new component a new route so right here route colon colon get uri products okay and then add here the callback function so right here function and inside this function just return here return inertia column column render and pass here the component name so inside the single code just write here component name which is all product component okay so let's copy this and paste here okay now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and go to the url products and you can see here the products okay here is the name price and the stock status so in this way you can use the functional comp component props in laravel 9 react okay so that's all about functional component props in Laravel 90X. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.